Okay, there we go. Took a second. It took a second for uh, Ustream to say, okay, I'll record. <laughs> All right, so good morning, everybody. Welcome to Coffee and Art in the Morning. I'm Dee Dee. I'm just checking to make sure I'm still here in the chat. And because there's a lag, so I'm kind of waiting. I think I think I'm still here. It just took a thir it took 30 seconds for the recording to start. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is this is just my desk journal that I showed the other day, and I just do little sketches like this, like, like different uh, poses, or and if you go online, like I said the other day, if you go on. Um, on YouTube, you can find all kind of poses and drawing to sketches of, you know, I mean, uh, poses of people to sketch from. Thanks, Lynn. And um, then what I like to do is make my own like clothes, outfits, or whatever. So I'll do different kind of sketches and and a quick gesture drawings, and then play with maybe the clothes or the character or whatever, just to have, you know, just another way to practice your drawing. <clears throat> so these are just a couple that I did. So you can see I just had a little sketch there and then I started putting my own clothes on her. This is just what I'm doing in my uh, desk journal, which I showed the other day. So I'm not going to do that. What I thought we'd do today is take a magazine. It doesn't have to be a fashion magazine. It could be any kind of magazine that you get, you like. The reason I like this though is because it has lots of people. <clears throat> and I might have to go get some more coffee in a minute, guys. My, the, when I start talking in the morning, it, uh, uh, um, you know, my throat says, wait a minute, you haven't said good morning to me yet. <laughs> <clears throat> Thank you, guys. So if you're watching this on a recording, it's a live recording on Ustream with a live chat. So thanks, everybody, for being here. And uh, so what I would like to show how we can do, and, and I, th I'm not playing this out as far as using this magazine or what exactly we're going to do today. But what I want to do is, and I've got some pencils, I got my Neo color, so I have some color here. I want to keep my camera thing here, so that's what the camera will focus some light on. And to take a magazine and pull inspiration from it. Now it can be the figures themselves, or it could just be something that inspires you in it. So I think what I'm going to try to do is for as long as I feel it, or want to feel like, you know, in, until it just gets too redundant, <clears throat> is just to take a magazine and flip page by page. And like I said, it doesn't have to be a fashion mag. It can be whatever. And take whatever inspiration. For instance, right here on the cover, I love this 856. I'm going to just pull out some different pencils here so that I can be at the ready. Some pencils, some markers, just so I have some stuff right, right handy. And uh, where's my, this one here? An eraser, a pen, a sharpener, another pencil. I'll probably do most of it, though, <clears throat> with just a uh, woodless graphite because that shows up on camera. The thing about, you know, a white page on a, on Ustream, it uh, doesn't show up as well. And maybe a, maybe a Sharpie marker, or two. Let's make sure that's, yeah, there's a new, newer one. And I got some ballpoint pens, just some Prismacolors, black and white. <coughs> And then I have some neo colors here if I want to do some color. But the point is, that should hold it right there. The point is, is to go page by page and see what kind of inspiration you can glean from a magazine or whatever. Okay, so I love this 856. So the the point in doing something like this let me see if i can take a black let me put that there so i have it handy i'm just going to use a you know this is a 14 by 17 just the cheap sketch pad that i use here on ustream when we're drawing out whatever we draw out that day yes i love the woodless graphite 
If y'all have any questions, put them in caps for me so I know you're talking to me, Vern. <laughs> That's for Paula. Anyway, also, let me give y'all a couple of quick announcements real quick. Uh, Paula, if you go to journalrtstud.com, she has a blog. What is it, Paula? Is it a giveaway, a contest, a what was it? And then, so go to Paula at journalartista.com. And also, if you are in Lucy Jane's zine swap, she needs those zines by November 8th. She needs your 12 zines by November 8th. You like them too, Janet? Yeah, I love my woodless graphite. I'll do, this is my favorite uh, quick sketch tool. If I had to pick one, now if I'm drawing something like if I am doing a, uh, uh, a, 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 a an outline, a sketch or something just for myself and I'm just wanting to sketch something out, I love my little uh, Papermate disposable technical pencils, but I can't use those on stream because you can't see. And I mean, if, even if I zoomed like in that close. Never mind the quality of the picture. Uh, the uh, it just they don't show up because it's so light. But that's what I like about them. I mean, it's a it's a two B pencil, but it's very light, and you wouldn't see me. You wouldn't see a big sketch. But if I do something with this, I mean, you're going to see that. Okay, so Paula was saying that the artist seller is sponsoring a giveaway of a kaleidos the kaleidoscope stencil. So if y'all want a chance to get a kaleidoscope stencil set, st it's the set, then go to Journal Artista's blog and, and sign up. Uh, Paula does a lot of work with stencils and art journaling. And if y'all do not watch her, she's on Wednesdays and Saturday nights, 9 Eastern on Ustream. Uh, Journal Artista, you can find her there. So, you know what I mean, Vern? <laughs> okay, so what I'm going to do is, uh, right now though, I'm going to just use a black, I got need to sharpen it though, a black Prismacolor pencil to do some line, uh, draw, number, draw these numbers. But I just want to kind of show you that a good way to practice ideas and inspiration and just the skill your skill level a good way to practice it is just take a magazine it could be an art magazine like if you like the Somerset or, but you know then you're kind of doing other people's art if you take a magazine or you know, it could be a home and garden you know uh, Oprah it could be a fashion whatever something that has a variety of things in it now of course this is going to have mostly girls and fashion um, but, you know, you, you can use whatever magazine you want. The idea is not necessarily, and I may draw some people as well, but the idea is to find things that just jump out at you and inspire you. Like, I love her, I love her collar here of, it's kind of like a zebra print thing. Well, I don't have to draw her and everything about it to get the idea of what I like about that. It's the zebra print or whatever animal. I don't know what kind of animal it is. But I like the way it kind of goes down and like this. And so I might just like just that little zebra print. All right. And then sometime I might use that on, like I showed you a minute ago, where you, I do, you know, you can do your own quick sketches and then clothe them or create your characters with your other ideas. Sorry for the camera jump there, guys. I bumped it. Okay. So, like I said, I really love this 856. So I might just, you know, draw that out just, you know, because I liked it. And I'm not, when you're doing stuff like this, don't try to, I mean, you can be as, you know, careful as you feel like you want to be, but don't be so careful that you're getting out rulers and drawing lines and, and, uh, unless you really have a plan for something that, that you're doing this for. The, the idea here is just to collect inspiration, collect your inspiration, collect some ideas. It's not, 
you know, it, this isn't to do a fin necessarily, not that you can't find a finished product or, you know, project in, in amongst this, but the idea is just to start collecting your ideas. And I guess it's really uh, something that I try to do a lot on my show is to show inspiration and ideas because people always say I don't have any ideas I don't have well you know and I always stress you have to write down you have to write down sketch down doodle down post-it note down <laughs> whatever whatever means necessary to collect your ideas if you don't you will forget them lose them never use them sounds like a song doesn't it <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you do have to, yeah, well, if you need, do you need some more, Paula, let me know if you can't find them. <clears throat> so, well, I just love that, the, the red and the 856 of that. So, here's a different, couple of different things I could do with this. I could just take, here, happen to have a red pen here. And use what you have, you know, if you don't have everything I'm showing you, that doesn't mean you can't do the some designs. Just by doing this with a cross hatching, it even gives it a cooler look than just a solid red. So you're just going to see me doing all kinds of stuff like this today. Maybe I should zoom, well, I don't know. I think I've got the big page here. I'm, if y'all need to see something or want me to zoom in one, I can do that, but I'm kind of trying to get you to see the big picture. But if I need to zoom in one, I can. Okay, if y'all have any questions, just ask. <clears throat> or if you want me to zoom in one, I can. So I'm just doing some cross hatching here in the red, and it just looks really cool just being cross hatched. But this is the kind of thing, this is my version of, of uh, doodling. I'll take something to just uh, generate some ideas, and whether it's a big sketch paper like this, which the main reason I'm using this is for uh, the stream. I'm, I probably would be using my desk journal normally for just me if I was just doing it. Just, you know, the, the, the journal that I use that until it gets full to put these kind of things in. But I want y'all to be able to uh, see something. So I could do something like just cross hatch in here. And then I, I'm going to try to talk out my process of what I'm thinking when I'm doing this so that y'all can kind of think, hear what I'm thinking. Hey, Dana. We're just going to use a magazine to generate ideas from today. All right, so I'm, when I'm looking at this and I'm trying to talk out loud as to what I would be thinking, of course, I might be thinking 10 things and I can only talk out one at a time, but I'm going to try to just show you some different things. Now, I really like how that's a solid bright red. So even though I like the cross hatching, let me just grab some. This is another thing that these cheap Crayola uh, markers are good for is doing stuff like this. So let me just pull those out. I also have my colored pencils and I have my Neo colors. Uh, <clears throat> but these cheap Crayola, I like these, this type, and you can get a whole, all of these come in one set. And they're the bullet tip kind. They're the kind that have the bullet tip. And what's nice about these is, other than that it comes with the scented ones, the black ones are scented. It co those come as a little bonus in some of the sets. They last a long time. I, I really have no problem. They never, as long as you keep them capped, don't dry out. And what I like about the bullet tips, let me get the red one because that's the one I'm going to want to use right now, is with the bullet tips you can get a, a thick line, a thin line. You see, because they're a bullet tip, you can go on the tip or on the side. That's kind of like why you, you like uh, the woodless graphites is because you can get a nice thick line and you can get a thin line. So that's, that's the benefit of having a multi, multiple tipped thing. <clears throat> so anyway, I might want to see how it looks more solid red. All right. 
So, and you know, this is just going to be idea generating and collecting. I love doing that, especially when people say they don't know how or they don't think they have an imagination or can't draw or can't do anything. You can. <laughs> it's just most people that say that I have found have never tried or they try one thing and give up. And that's just, that's not going to cut it, Burn. <laughs> and um, so anyway, so you can do, see how it just has a different look when you fill it in. You can take uh, uh, something like this and then you could uh, shadow it. You know, you just imagine the light source from there and then just shadow This, this will help you with something, just doing lettering like this will help you with your lettering skills and calligraphy. And, and just speaking of, real quick, I have to uh, talk about, real quick, where I said it, here it is. My Pilot Parallel Pen Miss Lisa sent me. Love this thing. So just real quick, we're going to do something. We're just going to write out inspiration or something because I love this pen. Thank you, Lisa. So we're going to do, and like I said, I don't have any lines drawn or anything, so I'm not, uh, so inspiration. ideas I think I want to try to make that come right through there so thanks again Lisa I, when I started doing the, the shadows over there it just made me want to pick up my parallel pen so this is the pilot parallel pen which you can write either on either side. Flip it over and it writes on this side and it writes on this side. And I think what the benefit of that is, is when you write, when you can flip it over and write on both sides rather than just a regular nib that you only have the ink flowing on one side, is what this does, I think, is it helps you make curves and circles. Really, because it's writing, it, the, the ink is coming out of both sides, top and bottom. So I, I don't know, maybe, maybe, maybe not. But anyway, so I just had to, bye Paula. Yeah, Paula has to run. Bye Simon. <laughs> All right, so, so this kind of thing, then I might take a, a thin, thinner pen and maybe I want to outline a letter or do a scribbly, like maybe just a scribbly outline and carry the scribbles out to pass the edges there like that. That's just, you know, it's, this isn't something that I talk to my, when I'm doing this by myself, I'm not really talking. I mean, I'm, I'm just doing it in my head, but I'm trying to talk out to you what I, what is going on in my head as I'm doing this. So you can kind of see the process, if that is even it <laughs> matters. What really matters is that y'all get out of pen and, and try some things. Uh, but uh, pages and pages of this kind of thing, when you say, well, I, I, I need to do this, or I need to do that, or I want to do this, or I need some inspiration for a card, or a layout, or a whatever it is that you enjoy doing whatever your thing is this kind of stuff is useful for whatever your thing is does that make sense then if you keep these whether it's in a big sketchbook like i said i'm doing this big because uh, for stream whereas normally this kind of stuff is what i do in my journals that sit on my desk all right. Any questions? Sorry, guys. I I threw that over there and bumped the camera again. Okay. I don't see any questions. I don't see chat moving. Okay, Darcy. Uh, Darcy, put in your link. Links are open if you want to put in your link to your blog and your giveaway. 
Darcy UK has also got a thing on her blog for some metallic markers. When, when I see the link, I'll, I'll repeat it on, on the recording here, Darcy. If I caught her before she left, she might have. Uh... So thanks everybody for being here. All right, so might do something like that. You know, so this is just, and here we are, just just the one thing on the first page. So, you know, this is a 856 pages <laughs> of uh, inspiration. All right, so, the, oh, well, what I was saying, though, is if you, if you have these kind of things in a book, in a journal, in a sketchbook, it could be, you know, you, I showed you all the other day, my, you know, the black and red sketchbooks. You could do this kind of thing in one of those. Uh, do it on loose leaf notebook paper, white paper, line paper, throw it in a three ring binder. It, these are your ideas. Whatever format is pleasing to you to use. That's the thing. You want to use a format that's pleasing to you, whether it be a hardbound journal, a spiral, something big, something large, something tiny, one of the whatever. The idea is just to find something you enjoy writing in. You're not afraid to write in. If you're afraid you're going to mess up a nice journal, then definitely get you some three ring paper and a binder to collect your ideas in. Yeah, Darcy's uh, blog is art dash and dash soul s o l e dot blogspot dot c o dot u k okay all right thanks darcy have a good swim <laughs> all right so let's i'm going to try to do th another reason that i have a, a big um let me move this another a big uh, spot here i mean pad here is so that i can keep the this with you know we can do uh, multiple things here all right, so I'll just move these. Well, I'll, I don't want to keep bumping the camera. Sorry, guys. I keep bumping the table right next to me with the camera on it. All right, so let's just continue on. All right, one other thing that I really like on here is how her dress is shimmery. And it looks, because of the sun hitting it, it's like gold and a baby blue. So... Just as those two colors could maybe inspire me. Let me grab something with gold in it. I want this nice shimmery gold. So, and this is almost out. I don't even know if I can get anything out of it anymore. I need to buy a new one of these if they're still around. I love the Liquitex Iridescent Bright Gold Soft Body. This, I just like this, not necessarily the brand or the, the, soft body part of it but the color this is a very iridescent light bright gold <coughs> hey rage so i love the baby blue so I'll, let me just try to take i'll take maybe a couple of whoops i'll take maybe a couple different blue markers here and just see which one i like so that's not the color that's too teal and this one is too dark. So, I bet mean, it's close. It's close. So, I might just put that down. Or if it was really something I really wanted to say, oh, I really absolutely love that color combination, then I would probably get out a lighter color. I might dip my finger in there and just see if it'll smear a little bit. And then I want the gold with it. Maybe I'll just kind of go over it like that. So these are the way you just generate ideas is just by playing with different things that you really, really like or love or let me, I'll get into my neo colors here. And it's kind of, what kind of color? It's almost like a, it's almost like quite that blue, but it's close. Okay. So do you kind of get the idea where, what I'm uh, talking about inspiration wise. Yeah, it's changed, Rach. You have to use the, the little uh, people icon now to see who's here. 
and then hit the arrow back or the X back to get out of that. Or do the, the best way, actually, especially when you stream Rage, is to do the pop-out chat. Do the pop-out chat, then you can make your chat window as big as you want so that you can uh, toggle back and forth between the chat and the people. Okay. <clears throat> no, it's the same for both. It's the same for streamers and viewers, Rage. Hey, CB. Yeah, and when you do the pop-out chat, you're less likely to have the scroll bar stick. The scroll bar doesn't scroll sometimes, and if you have the pop-out chat, it works a little better. At least for some of us. I, you know, I guess it just depends on... Okay? Alright, so any questions so far on, on how... And you see that I'm not trying to make this a cohesive page. It's the idea is just to get down your ideas, not necessarily to have a work of art here. That's not the point. All right, so we're going to turn the page. We're just going to turn the page. Although I'm really liking the way that they did this in gray, so I think I'm going to I'm just I'm going to try to use my markers here as much as possible because it's quick. It's quick for me to take these markers and use them rather than digging through a certain, you know, pencils or whatever. This is just quick. I really like the gray. And when I think of gray, another color that I think that just looks really amazing with gray is yellow. So I'm going to pull out this yellow marker. Well, actually, I need this one, but I want to sniff this one. The yellow markers, the, um, the yellow and orange markers with the black barrel on the Super Tip Crayola Crayon Cheap markers, bullet tip, is they smell like Fruit Loops. So every now and then I have to have a Fruit Loops sniff. I don't even like Fruit Loops. But uh, yellow and gray look really good together. And look how good it looks with that black and white there. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'll, I'll try not to pull out my Crayolas, crayons and do a sniff. <laughs> Okay, so Carol's helping with the uh, scrolly chat problems. All right. All right, so, uh, you know, this here's the whole pull-out page right here. Now, these are amazing. They're all different faces and different nationalities. These, well, let's just go ahead and do it because that's what I would do. I'm going to take the cover off here. This is what I would do if, if y'all weren't here. So I might, uh, actually I would probably tear them because I wouldn't care if they were neat. So I'm just going to do just like I would if you guys were not here and tear out all these different faces. So I'm just telling y'all what I would be doing for idea inspiration if you if y'all weren't here. <laughs> All right, let me take a poll real quick. <laughs> Not an official one. I won't actually put a poll up. But um, how many of you have? And a journal or an idea book, and I really love that 856. I'm just going to keep that, and I will cut it out because it's quicker. Um, how many of you actually have a book that's just for inspiration, not for anything else, not for you know keeping wonderful drawings or you know not an art journal, just something that is for inspiration. Why 856? Because that's how many pages are in that Vogue magazine. And uh, I like the, the font and the typology of it. So I was just playing with that. We're just doing taking a magazine and just playing with whatever ideas we can get out of them. You have a whole library. <laughs> Good, Janet. Janet, you need to stream. You're all, you know, you have amazing artwork and, and ideas and things, and, and you need to stream. 
If you need any help, we're here for you, Janet. We're here for you. <laughs> and Carol says she has some scattered books with ideas. All right, now, if, even if you didn't answer the question here, if you actually do have one, actually have a uh, idea book, how many of you actually go back and you get those books back out when you need an idea? Rach has one. Well, good, Lynn. Good. I know there's a la chat lag, so I'm just going to kind of wait here. Dana, I don't know that that counts. Because <laughs> are you actually, is it your stuff, Dana? Dana said, she has an inspiration board on Pinterest. I mean, that's good. Don't get me wrong. Those, that's a great thing to have a collection of ideas, but they're not... You, you're, they're not your hand to paper. <laughs> Dana, you cracked me up, girl. <laughs> well, I, I mean, there's nothing. I have Pinterest, too. I have Pinterest and, and other, um, you know, I keep tons of my own pictures and collections of images. You know, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with that or that's not beneficial, too, depending on what you use them for, of course. But I'm talking about collecting your own ideas, like with your own hand, with your own right. And if you're, let's just say you're more of a writer or a poet or, you know, whatever, not necessarily a visual artist, then, you know, you'll have, which I think a lot of people can relate to that um, example easier because you're writing down your ideas so you could still write down your ideas here and I've shown y'all how to do you know the different word take your words and mix them with your ideas to generate total new ideas but you have to write them somewhere <laughs> But anyway, so I just wanted to know, you know, how many people actually did it, you know. Carol says that once you get something on paper, you call it a finished something. Well, it could be a finished idea, but, I mean, do you ever think about going back and reusing some of those ideas? Especially, not you necessarily, Carol, but anybody that says, well, I just can't think of anything. I can't think of anything to do. I don't have any ideas. Well, if you didn't collect them, and I know that writers do that, you know, writers you know, that, that write stories. They have to collect their, you know, their characters and their, you know, their plots and their places and their histories and everything on, on everybody. So they have to write down their, well, they're writers. Of course, they're going to write them down. But just because you're not writing a story doesn't mean you don't need to collect your ideas in the same way. You know? And, you know, this is how, you know, an easy way to me, it's an easy way to do it, is to have either a sketchbook, a, you know, a, a, a three ring. Of course, I've had all the different ones. Or just a, a, a little notebook or something. Some place where you can collect them. Carol, the pen. So use your screen saver to 
to use your screen. All right, so Carol said she's used her screensaver to play her ideas to her. It reminds her of things that she wants to make. Well, as long as you have some way of, you know, here's what I, one of the things, that, another reason I, I like to write things down and actually have them on hand, uh, in, in hard copy, if you will, instead of just digitally. You may not always have, what if you lose those files? I mean, you know, even if you back up, you just, you know, to me, I want to be able to go to my paper, if you will, and have ideas. I just, I don't know. I don't want to say I don't trust digital. I mean, I know there's backuping and all that. But, uh, and I, I take my iPad with me wherever I go. So it's not that I don't, I love technology. It's not that I don't use my technology and love my technology. But there's something about actually having hands on. And, you know, if y'all are just totally against writing and drawing and sketching and having a hard copy and you, you think I'm crazy, well, don't email me. <laughs> I'm just telling y'all what's worked for hundreds of years for artists and writers. All right. So, all right. So let, I'm just going to flip this page over. All right. And uh, you could go on the back or just a new page. In this case, I'm just going to go on the back. Now, another thing, though, now, a lot of times I don't go on the back of a page. For instance, uh, let's say a three-ring binder. The reason that I may not go on the back of a page personally in my collection is because if I want to be able to tear this out, and I like this, and I want to use that for something, and if I want to rip that out or cut that out for it to fold, um, to collect over into something else or another project or another idea. I don't want to have to worry about something being on the back. So there's pros and cons to, you know, it, it's fine. It's great to have a page after page after sketch after sketch front and back. But if you think you may at some point want to use anything and you're going to have to tear it up, then I would recommend not using the back. Okay. All right, so I liked all these faces, so I'm just going to take a glue stick and I'm going to just glue all these faces down. I may or may not, you know, add bodies to them or my own clothing or some, uh, you know, what do you call it, uh, just your drawing to them. But for right now, I'm just going to put them all down on here just because I like their faces I like that they're all different and so I'm just gonna collect them down here and move on see we're just still on the cover of the magazine with 856 ideas <laughs> or pages rather to get ideas from all right so uh, having a glue stick handy that is something that I usually always carry I have a smaller one in my pencil thing, I always carry a, a glue stick with me. All right. All right. So I'm just going to throw this to the side. We'll just tear out as we go. All right. So now back to the magazine here. Now, when you're going through a magazine and you're and you let's say you're done reading it or whatever and you're not collecting it, I don't collect these. There's different things you can do for you can draw the inspiration like I might really like how those trees look. So I just take a sharpie and just kind of think about what I could use this for. This looks like a cool like you're looking out of a little window there. And also don't hesitate to write down something like if you think oh I, I want to use this for a window idea well write down the word I mean you can do writing and drawing at the same time you know and I'm not trying to necessarily copy it I'm just trying to get the inspiration from it see what I'm talking about Vern you know what I mean Vern <laughs> Oh, Paula. All right. So anyway, 
like that. Or, and you could do both. You could tear out or cut out, whatever. And this is kind of like, my version of a glue book is things like this. When I want um, to collect things like, you know, that you can just glue down, that's my version of a glue book. All right, so you could do um, different things. Let's just tear this whole page out. Just for an example, I'm just going to set this one over here for a second. You could do, if you wanted to practice your, uh, let me get something here. Guys, I don't have to reach. Oh, it's drizzling out. When did that happen? It starts raining. I'm going to have to scramble to close some windows. All right, so on different shows, we talked about how to practice your figures. On different shows, sorry guys, I, I went sleep mode there. Showed how to practice doing different figures. And uh, now, of course, she's got a lot of coats and things on, so it's not necessarily the best example, but I wanted to kind of show you, is um, to take a marker if you want to practice your figure drawing and proportions and just do a marker and do all the shapes, like her shoulders would be right in there. Do all the shapes, her knee... Here's her ankle, her calves, and her feet. You know, here's her hand. This is kind of a, not a good example because she's fully clothed, but I wanted to show you all the example. And then you could also take a piece of tracing paper, get it big enough to fit your project there, <laughs> and then go back over it just so you can see the proportions and judge how thing, how big things are. Here's her knees. So here's her, just her dress. So that you can do things like this to help you with your proportions. All right, and then I may want to remember to do this later. I might think, oh, I don't want to forget to practice this. So I just might glue that down. In my inspiration book. Okay, so that it's a good way, and we've done it many times here on different shows, where you'll take uh, a, you know, a, You'll take a, a figure and do that. Draw the shoulders, the elbows, the wrist, the head, a neck is, you know, just the shapes. Not necessarily trying to, you know, draw the person, but to draw the shapes so that you can see how big and tall or, you know, just proportion. All right. Now, I'm looking at her and I'm loving this black and white polka dot. All right. So rather than though sitting here and drawing polka dots, I mean drawing a square with polka dots and coloring it in, which I could do. Let me just do a little corner here just to show you what I mean. I might have just a little, uh, I can do it quick. I know that Dar's working along with me. I just know it. I know Dar's got out a magazine and is pulling ideas like crazy. Why do I know that? <laughs> hey, Barb. Anybody else coming in? All right, so I could do it this way, or I could just take a, because um, I have everything right handy here. It just I guess it just depends on where you are. If I'm sitting in my bed doodling, I'm not going to get out the paint to do this. But I just wanted to show you that you can, uh, okay. Now, while I'm here, I'm thinking, oh, I like those trees, you know, I might just go ahead while I'm sitting here and just draw some, 
you know, branches. That's just you know, because it's right there. It just made me think, and then maybe some long roots here. Now, because I did that, so you see how just one idea leads to another idea. I started out with some polka dots and then the paint. But now, because I have that paint on there, I also kind of really want to do some more, you know, detail there, maybe. See? Questions? Ideas, comments, <laughs> and also I might like, where did I put that? I think I'll take a little bit of, put some splatters there too. All right. Now, what really attracted me to this though was the black and white polka dot. Oh, what I was going to show you with this is then you can, instead of doing. I can just take a pencil eraser here. Okay. Moving on. Oh, what I was going to say is I like that purple. So I'm going to get some purple marker here. I want a dark purple like this. I just like to remember that black, white, and purple looks really cool together. Or if you, you want to, you can just tear out. A bit of black, white, and purple from there. If you're done with the magazines and you know you're not going to use them for anything else, I, I just I have no problem cutting things up, <laughs> tearing things out. So this basically becomes your own version of an inspiration board after you you know or book, depending on how many um, you know how much you do. All right, so now I know that this is probably going to smear over there, but I'm just going to go with it. All right, let's go to the next something-something. All right, um, I'm not seeing anything else I need there, so you know, I'll just trash that. She has a kind of a pretty face, but I also like those trees right there with her, so I think I'm going to keep the trees and her face. I think I'll put it back on the other side because I have room. You're working on a letter journal, and in and, and what kind of a letter journal? Let's see, I think I'll just put, that put this here, put this here. What are you doing, Kelly, in the letter journal? Like practicing letters? Jane's working on her jean. Lucy Jane's working on her zine. Oh, is Dana not feeling good? I was wondering where you haven't been around uh, Twitter for the last few days. Okay, moving on to the next page here. So the idea here is to try to find something on every page that inspires. All right, so in this case, I am really liking the idea of these steps. And then up here, there's just some kind of, it. it's actually not trees. It's, that's like uh, the cement has got like smeary, you know, distressed cement, but somehow they look like trees to me. So I'm going to just draw some. Just 
just some of they just kind of remind me of trees in a distance and these could be you know you, and like I said you just kind of just go with what you see to play with you can't necessarily do you know an exact something It's, it's, this is idea generating. You have a mini art journal that travels to other. Oh, okay. So it's a trial. It's like a, a round robin type journal, Kelly. Yeah, photos are also good, Dana, for co collecting inspiration, especially your own, taking your own photos for sure. So I kind of like that little, it kind of reminds me of a, okay, Susan said that an interesting card challenge blog, like greeting cards, Susan, or art cards? Susan is talking about an interesting card challenge blog is the run runway inspired blog. I don't know if that's greeting cards or art cards. I used to uh, do more photography for ideas than I do now. Um, but I would li I like to go like into you know, places to take odd things like um, the sewer grates, the electrical meters, you know, things like that, <laughs> real close up. Another, and I told you all this in a few, uh, I don't know, a while back, that another uh, good inspiration I, source of ideas is, um, sorry guys, I froze for a second. Another good source of cool ideas is macro photography. Just go on Google Images and look for macro photography, and it's like zoomed in, amazingly close up pictures of things, you know. And you and you see things just differently after you've seen things close up. You know, if you've seen. Um, a butterfly wing is because I saw I think it was on a something earth on Twitter posted one of these not too long ago and it showed a butterfly wing I, I'm not gonna be able I can't I can't draw without looking at it but like for instance the butterfly might be this big okay let me color it in so you can see it the butterfly might be this big and they'd have a pick a part of it of the wing that is just covering that much of the wing and it's blown up that big and you can see every little iridescent everything in that it's just a great way to have more ideas and, and you'll be very inspired if you look at anything macro photography I mean, it's one thing to go take your own close-up pictures, like zoomed in as far as your camera will do. These are done like with microscopes and things. I mean, I really don't know the whole technology of how they do it. But, uh, I mean, it's like like if you were looking under a microscope at a, at a butterfly wing and to see, you know, how much detail. Hey, Colleen, you old... Um, Marathon streamer, you. <laughs> I hope you recorded all the, those hours. <laughs> all right. So, anyway, if you're just coming in, Colleen or anybody, Colleen did a marathon stream yesterday, and uh, I'm not sure if she recorded all those parts. But I'm just taking a, in this case, I'm just taking a Vogue magazine, which we've already tear, torn the cover off, and it's the big, thick one with 856 pages and just showing you how you can take and grab out ideas and inspiration out of a page or page by page. 
Yeah, she did like seven or eight hours, I think. I, I was there till uh, her husband fixed her camera, and then I had to go eat. So, but I saw people tweeting that she was still on like hours later, Dana. Okay, so back to this. Um, I'm really liking this gray and the cement looking steps. So I think what I'll do is I'll just throw out a little white, just a tiny bit, and a little black. I could just get out some gray too, but I'm just going to mix those two with a palette knife. So, and just grab both the colors here and kind of just do my own version of that cementy look there with some scrape like this. And like I said, remember guys, this is not for something to necessarily, I mean, you can always develop the ideas into, a, into something else, which is why you're collecting ideas. But don't think that this has to be something. That's why I'm going from page to page and kind of trying to do just a few ideas each so that you can see that it's just about gathering the idea, not about, in today anyway, it's not about using these ideas right now. It's just about how to collect your ideas, okay? Now, I really like that, and because I put that blue there, it's making me want to do a waterfall down those stairs. So I'm gonna have to, because that's wet paint, I'm really um, not able to go over that right now, but that doesn't make me stop me from doing waterfall down the cement stairs. So I don't forget that idea. Okay. And we might be humming blue moon while we're doing this. Don't make me sing, but you know, you might be humming blue moon while you're doing that. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to move on. <laughs> All right. So let's keep going. Just go to another page. All right, here, I, and I always like to do, um, and I used to do more pen and ink drawings, where I would do pen and ink in black, white, and one color. And so anytime I see like black, white, and say red here, it it's just makes me want to... Uh, do a pen and ink drawing. <laughs> so let's see here. Let's just grab some ink and a paintbrush. Although I do have my parallel pen, I could be using that. I just want a soft brush here. Let's see if I can get my lid off. There we go. I really put my lids on really tight on my ink because I've spilled ink before. All right, so I might just really like. Um, her, just the black and whiteness of it. Let me move that, look like her head. I really like her shoes, so I may not draw her, but I might draw that shoe in black and white. It's a little strappy sandal. Alright, so anything in black and white. And the point was, was the red. So here's my red marker. So there's her hands. Let's put a little. Okay. Maybe I want red in her shoe. I don't know. All right. Um maybe some little tiny, I always like something black, white in a color, something big and then something small. So maybe a little, um, maybe on her shirt she has a little design. Her shirt's white, 
but uh, uh oh got some black ink right here hang on guys let me wipe that up just to have the contrast y'all tell me now is this something that's interesting to y'all is it inspiring is it making you want to get out some books and do some ideas well here's part of why I can do stuff like this for one it's because I've done it for I started you know when I started learning how to write I was drawing so I've been drawing for over 50 years and also so I practice a lot and do a lot but also guys you can't be afraid <laughs> it's like if this didn't look like anything it's like who cares do you know what I mean you, you just cannot be afraid I think so many people you know and I do all this live with no rehearsal no it's not practiced or anything but the idea is not to be afraid because if it messes up it's like so what <laughs> right hey Jamie you know if nothing else you might learn what not to do alright so now I'm just you know play you know I'm really liking the idea of all this being real real scribbly like making her a whole shirt a scribble there you know but I think that sometimes especially when you first start out and if you're starting out and not having drawn all your life although even people I've known people that have drawn all their life that are still afraid to you know make a mistake but and I, I don't mean that in a mean way I just mean it in an honest way you know um, especially people starting out when they they don't they can't achieve what they envision immediately then give up for me it's always been I've always loved drawing and painting and art I've always loved it so for me seeing things that I can't achieve inspires me to keep going rather than discouraging me from moving forward and if you love what you do you're going to keep practicing and doing it no matter what okay yeah art is not for sissies <laughs> yeah well if you but then if you and and I don't know why you do that um Julie but if you avoid it you'll you, you gotta practice to get good at it and if you avoid it because you're not at the level you wish you were well that's how you get at the level you want to be is you practice and if you don't practice you won't get to that level no matter what And you know, I I know sometimes I sound like you know <laughs> I don't mean to. I just try to I guess I just I'm telling y'all the same things that I tell myself or I tell like Cam, who's you know, an aspiring artist who has he has been drawing since I put a pencil in his hand. You know, two or three, you know, whatever. Boo has she enjoys different other things that are creative like she would she's more a hands-on wanting to craft something when she gets creative she wants to have beads and clay and get her hands in it rather than taking the time to try to learn to draw something so different people of course have different creative loves but you need to to love it or you will not practice it that's just my motto I mean if you don't if you don't love what you doing you're doing you will not practice and if you don't practice you're not going to get good at, good at it 
All right, so now we're going to move on. This is wet, so I'm just going to go to a new page because this one's wet. And I, if I turn it over, I'm going to make a big smear. All right, so let's go on to the next something and get some more ideas. So that may be all I get from that page today. Tomorrow, I might like the pattern in the carpet. You know, it's gray and brown. Like, uh, so I might... Uh, what did I do? I had the gray. Maybe I put the gray back in here. Let's get a light gray so it'll show up. So the pattern, the carpet is gray, and it's got this kind of a snowflake design in a brown. So depending on how wet, if I use ink, if I use paint or whatever, that will determine my next thing I pick up. If this is wet, I'll pick up something I can go on wet with. You know, in this case, I'm going to um, go with the brown. Let me just grab a brown pencil. Um, sorry, guys, I keep forgetting that I can't bump that table. And then it has this, like, snowflake design in it. Alright, so now as I'm drawing this snowflake, now it's starting to look like an atomic something. <laughs> that may take me off into a whole nother direction. But um, anyway, so you get the idea. You just, I mean, I hate to sound like I'm repeating myself a lot. Yeah, I try to make them pep talks. Thank you, Jane. That's my, that's what I try to do. I try to make it a pep talk. <laughs> And I also, now I just saw this guy again. He has the black and the brown. And so that is, I'm really just drawn to that. And it's, it's a sienna brown. So I'm liking the sienna brown with the black again. So I just might want to remember a color combination. Really, I want more black than that. I should get out my ink again. But I think I have some paint right here. A little bit of paint. Okay, so and I might glue him down just because I like the black and the brown. And uh, so as you can see... We are only on, like, page three of 856 pages. <laughs> oh, pep talk, coffee, and art. There we go. Thanks, Dana. All right, so now we're going to move on to the next page. Here, she's got a lot of red with just a little bit of black. So I might take my some red ink. Let's see here. Now, I don't try not to bump my camera. Try not to bump the camera. And I know I am, though. i got a couple reds here. Let's see what I got. Got a magenta and a red. I want the red. All right. So in this case, let's go ahead and just take the dropper. Let's take the dropper and just kind of go with that. I've got way too much on here. So now this is really wet, but you get the idea. <laughs> and then maybe instead of a black square there, I would like a... Okay, I need a baby wipe. <clears throat> i got to clean the lid off of my ink here. My ink jar. I need to go around the edge here. So that when I take the lid off, I'm not splattering it. There we go. Now, where's my brush? Okay, 
okay, Jamie. Clean my ink bottle off there. Got too carried away on that last one. There we go. Alright, so now that this is wet though, I'm going to have to like go to the next page. Alright. And there's some red ink on there. So we'll just wipe that down. <laughs> I can get going too quick. I need to just kind of slow down and go a little slower on stream. I get carried away on stream and want to keep going and going and going. All right, so the next page, let's see what we can get off here. On this one, I'm really liking the lettering. I'm really liking the Ralph Lauren font there, and I still got some red, some wet ink there. So I think what I'll do here is I will take a pencil, sharpen it. See, I'm spreading out all over the desk here and I will start having a hard time finding things. I'm usually, when I'm doing this, for instance, after I do, like if I do something with the blue or the gray or whatever, I'll put it back in. So I do kind of keep clean as I go rather than just letting it go everywhere like I am right now. And when I do that, then it's hard to find something when I want it right here on stream. So I do need to kind of keep it a little organized or I'll be just digging the whole time and I don't want to dig the whole time. So let's put the markers all back. Okay. All right, so now I was looking for a sharpener. Here it is. Yeah, for those y'all just coming in, meet Kelly, KMB is Kelly. All right, so let's see, get my camera lighting. All right, there we go. All right, so I just like the lettering, so I might just do a little letter play. You know, play with some fonts. that you use behind your head there. And I might just want to, you know, if I'm in the mood for doing some lettering, I might go through this whole magazine just looking for fonts, just to practice my fontage. <laughs> I might just want to practice my fontage. And you can see it's going up a little. I'm not, uh, I, I'm looking at it, for one thing, I'm looking at it at an angle. And number two, I did not draw a, a guideline, you know, to, to keep me on straight there. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> All right. And then when you do just a simple font like this, there's so many things that you can carry out and play with it. I mean, if you just take one letter and just see what you, how far you can go with it and what you can do with it. Of course, you know, when having done uh, illuminated letters for a long time, you kind of start feel the flow, you know, how you can do different things with different, uh, because you're used to doing it. But that's another thing. That's a lot of practice. Now, I am kind of out of practice as far as calligraphy because I don't do it as much anymore. Like I said, I do a few certificates every now and then, but I really don't keep up with my calligraphy. However, now that I have my new parallel pen from Lisa, <laughs> I have to pull it out every now and then just to play. <sighs> Let's just do a little... Um, I'm trying to do it scratchy. I want to kind of 
do a scratchiness to it this time instead of just like like this you know I just want to kind of see what it can do anyway I just stop every now and then and play with it <laughs> okay so you know it, you just can take it and uh, Just, you, I mean, I can lose myself for hours in any kind of thing like this. And it's, you know, very meditative, and you can just get in the zone and just uh, But it's doing this kind of thing a lot for, you know, hours and hours, and, you know, I used to kid y'all that I would sleep with a pencil behind my ear, but, you know, you really do have to do a lot of work, a lot of, a lot of work. And, I mean, there's, there's people that probably do, well, I know, that do tons, much more hourly work than I do to get as good as they want to be. And, you know, it's, you know, some people say, well, you've got all this time to do it now. Well, <laughs> I have worked all since I was a teenager. And uh, I've moved over 30 times in my life. I was raised in the military and married into the military. And so, um, and I worked all the time and raised two girls. I didn't really, you know, retire, if you will. I, that's the people say that it is. But it's, uh, and to be able to do my art full time until I was probably late 40s, maybe. And that only because of some medical issues, some surgeries and things I had to have that I ended up, you know, not working full time, um, you know. So it's not that I've, you know, always just been able to do art and nothing else for like years, but I've always made time. And I think I told you all about, you know, my first draft, my first art table was a four by four piece of plywood tucked under a windowsill and I sat on the floor cross-legged and that was my desk. Later, you know, I would find whatever little nook in the house where I lived to have a desk. You know, somehow I always had a space, even if it was in a little, in a little nook that's not bigger than a closet or even a closet. So, you know, it's, I, I guess I'm just saying that so that people can't use the excuse, oh, well, you have all this time to do your art. Well, no, <laughs> I haven't really always had the time to do it. But, you know, this is where you carry a sketchbook with you to work and draw on your lunch hour, you know. Well, it does, Colleen. It, I mean, there, you know, there, it does. It, it does take hours of practice, and depending on what exactly you're trying to learn. I mean, I, I've told y'all before how I'll spend four years learning one thing before I and, and learn it well. I mean, I did calligraphy for well more than four years because I started teaching myself calligraphy when I was a teenager. But then later, I got into calligraphy guilds and stuff like that. And this isn't, I'm not trying to talk about these kind of things to say, oh, well, look what I, you know, look at me. I'm not trying to do that. I'm trying to, like, show you examples of things that happen in life or were in different times in your life. Now I am blessed to be able to do this full time, eight hours a day or longer if I need to. You know, I can do it all day, every day now. But I wouldn't be doing it all the time if I, if I didn't come to a place where I, I enjoyed it enough to do it eight hours a day by myself. Because I, you know, it's a, it's, I'm here at my desk by myself and you guys, all, the, all that's it. If, and I have to motivate myself. And so by, by streaming, I'm also hoping that I'm motivating you guys. 
but I like to try to give y'all examples of things that I've done or gone through or learned through doing, you know, art for 50 years that, you know, hopefully helps you guys. And, you know, if not, that's why there's so many streams and YouTubes and things that you can watch other than this one. <laughs> so, you know, it just, it works out that, that, you know, not every, you know, and I don't call myself a teacher. I call myself an encourager and inspirer -er -er <laughs> to, uh, you know, get you going and trying and practicing and working at something. I, I'm not really, a, I don't call myself a teacher because I don't really teach like step by step this is what you do in a painting to start and this is what you do to carry it through and you know I, I don't do that's just not my my forte you know there's a lot of uh, girls that are on Ustream and YouTube that are real teachers um, you know but I just try to get y'all encouraged and inspired and motivated to keep trying and keep going and keep practicing you know um, <laughs> an enabler well I'm a book enabler I, I do that oh well, thanks Dana I, I really I, I try to inspire and motivate uh, but I realize that every person is not for everybody I mean everybody's personality doesn't click with other people and that's just the way it is you know but uh, anyway alright so there's just a little play with some lettering you know this could be, you know, this could get, you know, viney. I mean, I could, you know, easily see this being vines with uh, flowers and things in here. Although it's kind of looking a little dark, but, you know, it could brighten it up with, you know, um, So you can see how you can just take one little thing and, and you know, just see what comes to you while you're doing it, you know? Maybe that needs a little more splatter. Let's see, where's the brush? So right here, just doing this much, you can see how you could do your, you know, if so a card, you could do someone's name, if you were doing a scrapbook layout, if you were doing a poster, if you were, do, just imagine this in whatever you like to do. Imagine someone's name, whether it be yours, your grandchildren's, or whatever, with vines hanging down and pretty flowers. And then if you love to paint or watercolor flowers, think how much you could do with these flowers. Okay, ribbons. Okay, someone just mentioned ribbons. Well, I mean, I think they're talking about Susan ribbons. But think of this taking a... Let me find, uh, let's do a different color. Let's do a yellow probably won't show up. Let's take a green. Let's take a, a, a green. Now, this, I might have to, let me dry it because that will just, that will ruin my marker with going right over the wet paint. If you want to put the link to your Ustream, Colleen, links are open so everybody can go watch your stream uh, marathon you did yesterday. And just know because, because you haven't streamed for a while, they may forget where you are. So put your link into your Ustream. Okay, so here we might take, 
let me just make sure it's working and maybe do a ribbon let's see what we can do with a ribbon in here we'll do three ribbons just kind of different sizes all right now right now that just kind of takes some scribbles but you can take and turn this into some ribbons Of course, you could be more careful. This is just, you know, give you the idea. And you can even have the letters, you know, the ribbon coming around and on top of letters. Okay. All right, moving on. We're not making it through 856 pages very quickly, are we? I think we're on page four or five. Okay, loving her shoes. Loving the tennis shoes, the boots rather. And I'm also liking it with fur. So I'm liking the fur and the boots together. So first off, before I do anything, I'm just gonna glue down the fur and the boots they're white like they, they remind me of the uh, boots that hubster wore in Alaska <laughs> the, the military issue snow boots there was a name for them I can't remember but anyway let's get a just a pencil here where's my woodless graphite let's put the green back in there Woodless graphite. Where'd you go? Here it is. Okay. All right. So <clears throat> I always like the way laces inter inter interlace. <laughs> so let's just say we had two sides of a boot here. And I just might want to doodle this just for the sake of reminding me, oh, you know how much you like laces. You know, just to remind myself how cool I like laces. But then, knowing how I think, I'm going to want to do the little, the little grommets. <laughs> then maybe I will want to put the boot here. Like looking straight at it here. Maybe some laces there like this. Maybe some kind of a cool uh, sole. Okay, so that may be all I want to do with that. You know, Denise always. Uh, <laughs> We'll see in this the little uh, the little ends on the laces. Denise would she's just Denise is hilarious. That's my daughter, my oldest daughter. She's uh, she's so funny. On she has a great sense of humor. But one of the things that she used to crack me up with is she would say things like, "Mom," and I can't remember them all now because it's been years. Whose job is it to put those little things on the end of of uh, shoelaces? <laughs> yeah, who, who, what, who's got that job? Who's got the job? <laughs> I mean, I'm sure it's a machine, but you know, just things like that that would crack me up. <laughs> Hi, HD. 
Did Colleen ever put her link in? Yeah. All right, so now I'm seeing these little, this is where I started to put the lace the, uh, the first time, but now they look like antenna. So what if shoes had some kind of antenna where they would be able to communicate with other shoes? What if this shoes, shoes communicating? So what, you know, think of, now this is just how I would brainstorm this. All right, so we have shoes communicating. All right, so <laughs> what if they could track your teenagers? <laughs> I know I'm terrible, aren't I? Or, you know, what if they communicate, you know, the, the shoes could talk, you know, communicate with each other in, in a way where they were, you know, could tell each other where they are, or where they're going, or what they're doing. I know that they have uh, uh, calorie trackers. But, you know, so, somehow have a, you know, a chip where they could talk to each other. <laughs> they were called bunny boots. Yeah, I think that's what they were called, right? In the military, bunny boots. I think, so it's been a long time, it's been the 80s since we lived in Alaska. So, yeah. But, you know, this is the kind of thing that you can, you know, brainstorm other than just your artwork and, and make it, uh, you know, more ideas. All right. So, anyway, we're going to take our, uh, we'll take our little uh, communicating talking boots and move on to the next page. <laughs> okay. All right. So, let's see. I don't want to get on that red ink, it's still wet there. All right. All right, let's move on. <laughs> I just have fun. I have so much fun, guys. Just saying. All right, so now, oh, another thing, too. This is another good example of how, especially if you are a collage artist and, and cool things happen. But a good way to practice it is to take, like, I just tore this out right here. All right. Now take this where you've torn this out and put that over other things. Take the collage hole, if you will. Let me just write that down so that, let's just say I hadn't thought of it before, but I have because I've used it lots of times. But let's just take the collage hole, okay, and overlap on another image. So this is how you collect ideas. All right. You might have saw this and you go, oh, that's so cool. So I would glue this down in my inspiration book. All right. So let's just find something really bright. Okay, here we go. So here is some lots of green. Uh, I don't really want something besides a person. Okay. Here's some other kind of fur. But you see how that could be a chair. She, maybe she's sitting on a, on a tiger chair. And that may be another kind of a collage. Let me just do this real quick just so that y'all can kind of... And even turning things upside down. Just to... Alright. Like that. Or like that. You see how that can generate a whole nother image and a whole nother idea by doing that? Now maybe I th I'm thinking she has some big yellow boots. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Di. Thanks, Colleen. Yeah, Colleen, if y'all want to look up, it's Scrap Chic on Ustream for another streamer. All right, so then I might take this and just do a quick glue down just to remind myself to use that idea maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just the color combination that's appealing to me. All right? See? Maybe that she instead of those white boots, she needed some big yellow boots. <laughs> okay, I have some red ink on something there. Just to, you know, 
continue on the idea here. To remind myself. Okay, so let's move on. We'll probably still have 850 pages to go. <laughs> uh, so here's another, here's black and yellow. Another black, white, and yellow, which I will always have liked that color. It's kind of a, it's actually more orange than yellow, but it kind of ties in with the yellow and black over here. So I might just glue that down for more reference materials for that. Just like that. So it's kind of like a glue inspiration idea book. And then like I said, let me see if I can find it real quick over here again, where you can take different quick sketches that you can do gesture drawings from online sources and then take those gesture drawings and play with some of these ideas like what we're doing here. Now, there, here we go. Let me pull this out here so I can find it again. So these are some quick gesture drawings, but then you can take some of the ideas that you've played with in your other idea book and bring them over to whatever else you're doing. So your ideas will start to, you'll, you'll start to transfer ideas from one thing to another. Okay. All right, so that's, I think I'll leave that slappy there. So, you know, here's a, just the head of somebody, but you can always take and make up your own body there. Let's turn that page there. Are we still, are we still uh, rolling here, people? <laughs> I'm looking for my pencil again. Always looking for the pencil. There it is. And I should probably do a test chat to make sure. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe she's got her arms crossed and she's Yeah, well, you know, it's just any kind of gesture drawings just to give you um, the idea is just to get generate ideas. All right? All right. Oh, look, we have a leftover idea. <laughs> okay, let's go on the back of this one. All right, so now <laughs> this one, I'm loving this chandelier. I'm loving this black chandelier. <laughs> and I don't know if you can see it, but there's even a horse right there. <laughs> okay, so let's just play here with the idea of the chandelier. So if y'all are just joining us, what we're doing here is we're taking a magazine, and this one, in this case, it's the 856 items from uh, pages in the last month or September I think it was Vogue magazine and uh, finding different inspiration from each from every page or pretty much every page some pages were just tearing out and collecting the idea but uh, <laughs> so anyway I might just play and I'm just showing you how I would play with the different different uh, ideas here. This has got very elaborate filigrees and things on it. So we'll just play a little bit here. I'll check up on chat. Anybody got any questions or anything else that ideas they want to share how they collect ideas or 
maybe I should do some kind of a challenge where let's see how, let's get everybody to you know show how they collect their ideas or start collecting their ideas rather Okay, so this is something, now let me try not to make a big mess with my ink again. Because the lid, I think I need, I don't know, I think it's because the blotter area of the ink is, uh, lid is gone. Alright, so let's see here. We're going to take, we'll, we'll do a little ink play. I'm trying to kind of watch chat and chat with y'all too. So my page ends there. Do a Halloween candelabra. <laughs> Yeah, I, you did record, right, Colleen? Because that was uh, a marathon and a half, I'll tell you. Colleen did a long, you're watching the recording, she did a long marathon stream doing a haunted house and a whole scene. Now, I haven't seen it to the end, so hopefully it turned out. <laughs> did it turn out, Colleen? Because I haven't seen it to the end. It was a long one. Let's show you some more things you can do with play. I'm guessing it did record because nobody's saying otherwise. So. so I'm sure what I'm. I've already thought of what I want to do with this next, but I'm. I'm waiting to get this stage done before I show you or tell you but mentally I've already moved on <laughs> black over here. Dripping, so now I'm going to go ahead and put some, since it's already dripping over here, I'll just put a few splatters, make it a little bit more interesting.
And so now I'm going to do first close my ink. I'm going to try not to make a big mess with it. All right, let me dry this. You like it? <laughs> well, just uh, you know, it just needs quick idea thingy here. But it's an idea that you can use for other things. I gotta dry it because I'll be making a big inky mess. I could probably just blot some of it. Let me just get a tissue here because it's pretty thick in spots. You know? Now, if you want your ink splatters not to be, if you want them to be perfect ink spots, you just really have to take the heat gun and let them dry, dry, dry. You can't really. Now you can wick them up. In other words, what you can do is you can take an ink blot and get your Kleenex real pointy and you can suck up the ink like that with a Kleenex. But you don't want to really do what I'm doing like this if you want to keep your ink blots just perfect. But what I want to do is to take her scissors, scissors, scissors. And I want to, I don't want to say really fussy cut her out because I don't want to take the time to do that. But sort of. I'm going to show you that what I my idea here is to take her take her out of the picture. Now I'm not fussy cutting, really fussy cutting, but and she Could always put some more glowy around. Let's see, this isn't the ink, my ink's not 100% dry. Probably should use Eileen's tacky when it's not completely dry. But then we'll take some orange paint. Hey Barb, welcome back. And I don't know if you really left or if you're just doing a drive by. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take a little bit of, just a little, let's see if I can do, put a little. Alrighty. Get the idea. That's what it's supposed to be, it's just an idea. So if anybody's just joining us, should be doing this with a brush, not my finger, but that's what's handy. Okay. All right, we're going to move on to the next idea. <laughs> the next page, rather. All right, so there we go. We got a little bit of a idea going there. Now, I'm not going to use the backs. Well, I already used the backside of that. I'm going to say I'm not going to use the backside because 
it's wet. All right, let's continue on with our 856 pages. Oh, okay, Barb, no problem. All right, let's see. Okay, I'm liking, I'm, I'm, I'm very um, sensitive to the perfume things in ads, so I don't open them and smell them. So I'm real careful when I come to one that has one of those, open those sniff pages up and try not to. Okay, this has me wanting to draw flowy stuff. And to do that, I think we should probably have something. I don't like chalk, but I'll use a Conti crayon. For some reason, we need a Conti crayon with this. Actually, I've got a couple of things that are I want a piece of black paper. have a couple of Conti crayons over here and for this one I'm thinking okay I like the way it looks on black now I got a yellow I got a brown and a white we'll just go with those here we go Yes, there's a magazine with 856 pages. It's the, the special edition Vogue. I wanted to go through all 856 pages today, Carrie. Just kidding. <laughs> we could, but, you know, we've already been here. Uh, let me check my time. <laughs> uh, we've only been here two hours, so we're good. we got we got another hour. We'll see how many more ideas we can get. I'll go back through all the pages, that the ideas that we got. All right, so... <laughs> I'm just liking the idea here of, of something um, on black paper. Not necessarily that I want to copy this, but I just like the idea of um, reminding myself to use black paper. If you're one that you might forget, I probably won't because I use a lot of tone paper in my commission work. But... Um, <laughs> So we're just going to do a quick little something something here on black paper. Just to remind remind myself to use black paper. Okay? So that's all I really wanted to do with this. Just to have something on tone paper. You can, you know, we could maybe do more. I could make a genie in a bottle. Okay? Let's say, uh, now I'm going to put the chalk away, because I'm not a chalk girl, um, and get back out the pencil. All right, but now that we did this, it said, okay, now maybe we need to think about doing a genie in a bottle. So let's see here. Let's do a genie in a bottle. <laughs> This could be a cool idea for collage where you could take, let me just flip through the magazine here, find something, just so y'all get the idea of what's in my head. goodness sorry guys I just I have too much fun I do I admit it I have I have too much fun this would be more this would be better to do with paint let me just go ahead and grab a green <laughs>
And she doesn't have any matte medium on her, so you got to watch that. Going over images with paint without having matte medium. I'm just going to use up whatever I got left over here. the brush. There we go. All right. Moving on to the next idea. <laughs> Sticking poor genie in a pot. <laughs> it's just to have the idea, guys. You know, y'all are too funny. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move on to a new page. Now, I might keep this just because I like both of those. I might just throw that in the journal book, whatever. All right, so let's see what else. All right. I'm trying to kind of go page by page. I, got, I do have to kind of watch what we show here. I don't want any underwear models because, you know, these streams very... Oh, here's one where we did use the girl as a... Uh, where we went around her with the marker to show shapes. So let's do it. You could just go over her again with maybe blue or a color that will show up. Just so you can see how we did the shapes. Is that showing up? Hang on, I froze for a second. I don't know if the blue will show up. Maybe it'd be better in red. I want something that's going to show up on camera. Where's red? Can I put it back? There's a magenta or something here. All right, so this, and I, we did this earlier just to show that, no, that's not really showing up on camera either, is it? Let's see. Let's do, what else can we do to make it show up on camera? Color's not showing up on her. Let's, um, let's go with just some orange paint. Well, maybe an orange marker. We'll try the orange marker. I'm trying to find something that'll show up. Now she's looking very rainbowy and fruit loopy. <laughs> but it's just to practice seeing the shapes we'll do another piece of um, tissue um, tracing paper so that you can see this again try to get a little more shapes and we'll go over it with tracing paper so you can see it that's not really showing up very well but I have that other piece of tracing paper here just to show you. Let's go this way. Because so. I want to show you the um, how you, it's good to practice your proportions by doing this. Okay. And you can get very detailed with this, but I'm just going to kind of show you the idea here. Her hair goes off the edge of her ear. So you can get the idea, like here's her shoulder here. Her shoulder would be there behind her hair. Went off the page there. But just so you can see how big and or small things are when you... Uh, all right, so look here. Look how big her hand is. And this is her other one that's going off the page. 
but look how big her hands are and her face. Because if you take your hand and put it on your face, your hand will cover your face. But a lot of times we'll either get it wrong and either draw the face is so big and the hands real tiny. Uh, but you, you, if you do things like this for practice, you'll you'll get the idea of the proportions. Do you want to hear my whip app, Carrie? <laughs> Somebody, Carrie, mentioned uh, getting the whip app out. You know when I like to use the whip app is when I'm in a store. <laughs> And if you don't want the Indiana Jones, you can just have the, that's called Pocket Whip. If you have, it's just, it's a free app. It's called Pocket Whip. Now you can buy other things here. They're trying to get me to buy some boots and some other things there. I'll have to look at that later. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so anyway, guys, this is another way for you to practice your proportions and shapes. Because if you're drawing somebody really fast and you want to uh, just capture the gesture, then you want to be able to do quick shapes. All right, we'll put that to the side and see what else we got. All right. Next thing here is some chains. All right, so let's practice what's on the back there. I might like that too. We'll just look here at some chains, okay? <laughs> Oh, we'll try to do it in marker so you can see. He's already getting me to do that. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, uh, well, I won't. I'll try not to play anything that's going to uh, disturb him, Barb. Yeah, my uh, Barb's cat likes to listen to me for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just go ahead and do this kind of quick here. So here's some of the links of the chain, and it's going to be going around this way. We'll just do it like this. And then the chain itself, or the other links that you see, are going this way. I'm trying to kind of get them bigger and bigger as they get closer to me, but <laughs> that's cute. So this just might be the only thing of inspiration from this page that I take from it. But it helps you, when you do stuff like this, is to notice the detail, you know? And then you could try to practice like doing a section here where it's a black background instead of white and see how much detail you can maintain in your chain and at the same time Anyway, guys, I think we're going to do a giveaway. Haven't done one for a while. And I don't know how much longer we'll be here. Maybe another 20 minutes. Does anybody else want to stream? Hey, Colleen! Colleen, you want to stream? <laughs> for those of y'all that don't know, Colleen streamed for like six hours, seven hours, maybe longer yesterday. So I'm teasing her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so teasing you, Colleen. <laughs> All right. So anyway, um, and things like this, these are good things to like keep if you, you really want to remember how things look. Okay. So let's see. The next page here, I'm just tearing it out because it's easier than bringing the magazine up here. This has some cool palm fronds. 
and 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 also y'all know how much I like to draw feathers so let's just draw a quick feather and we'll compare it to a pond frond <laughs> or whatever that is you know, the palm frond not pond frond <laughs> so we'll just do a quick little feather here and then just do a few little stray hairs or whatever they're called they're not hairs but uh Yeah, I have to, did it record, did the second room tour record, Colleen? Because I just saw the first one before your uh, camera, you know, I don't know if you did a second one or not because I had to leave after that, but. Okay, you did it and it did record, okay. We'll do a little color on this one. How about that? We'll make it a green feather. Well, anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed just some inspiration and some ideas and how to gather ideas, collect ideas, keep ideas, and use your ideas. <laughs> All right, let's do a little neo colors on this one. Did I mention that, Lisa? I love my pen. Lisa got me a parallel pen. Am I still here, guys? I guess I am or somebody would have said so. All right, let's do a little water and a green feather. And then we'll do a drawing. And thanks everybody for being here. Water brush, water brush. No, here we go. I know, me too, Carrie. I love the new pen. So what I like to do with the Neo colors is use it as a wash and then use color pencil over the top. But make sure it's dry. Use a heat gun or wait for it to dry because if I started trying to use color pencil right now on top of this wet paint, this wet uh, Neo colors, and somebody asked me and I told them before, but let me show them the box. This is the Neo Color 2s. The Neo Color 2s are the water soluble ones. Make sure you get the 2s. The 1s are just like wax crayons, they're not water soluble. Okay. All right, so let me hit that with a heat gun. Mm 
And I will show you what we did real quick today for idea generating. And we only got through about 10 pages of the 856. <laughs> oh, I have so much fun. I just, I have too much fun. All right, so now, real quick, let me get a uh, color pencils. I know I'm quite bumping the camera. Real quick here. Oops, did I push too hard already? Yep. Yeah. Sharpener, sharpener. I find the pencil sharpener, one of them. I won't have time to do this whole thing, but I just want the idea. Greens. There you go, Rage. If anybody else wants to stream now, tell everybody now so that they can go straight over there. Or wait, Joycey streams at one. Is today Wednesday? Yeah. Joyce streams at one. About another hour and fifteen minutes or so, I guess. So you can just take your time and shade. Oh, I pushed too hard again. I have a tendency to get in a hurry at the end here. Let me, while I'm doing this, let me think of something for a giveaway. And you can shade each little feather frond individually if you really want a lot of detail, but I'm I'm not going to take the time to do that here. I'm just going to go kind of quick. All right, we'll stop. So, okay, so you can just kind of see. And you can do all kinds of things with a feather. I mean, you, these frond things, these could turn into vines. You know, they could turn into more things. I mean, you can have the... You can just, you can just, like, there's some ideas right there. All right. So, check chat. Oh, let me show you what we've done. And let me, let me look around real quick. Let me think of something kind of cool. What would be kind of cool? Let me think of something to give away. Sometimes I just do surprise, you know, but let me look. <clears throat> guys. Um, okay, I know what. I know what. Here we go. I'll give away two of these to inspire somebody. Okay, so I have these little mini books. They need rubber bands. They need... Maybe I'll just make it one. We'll just make it one. How about that? little mini book for you to carry around and uh, there's no cover on it They're just the signatures for practicing all right so that's what I'm going to do I will I'll draw something on here and send one of these out all right so there we go we'll do that today all right so y'all know how it works and thanks um, Kelly for being here today 
a new person. I don't know if she's still here, but thanks for being here. All right, so I'm going to put a number between 1 and 30, my usual. All right, so I'm going to write down a number between 1 and 30. I know there's a lag, so I'm going to, you know, wait. I'll wait it as I go. But um, I'm going to put a number, I'm going to type in the word go. When you see me put in a capital go, because I don't think it's in color anymore. When you see me put in the word go, put in a number between 1 and 30, the first person closest without going over. I'll send a little signatures and I'll do a little, I'll do a little feather drawing on there or something. Just for something fun. May throw something else in there too. Might be a surprise. Okay? Alright, so. Okay, I wrote down a number and I know there's a lag, so let me just wait a couple of seconds. So I hope you all had fun. Okay. Closest without going over. And I'll wait because I know there's a lag. So just take your time. It'll we're not going anywhere till you get that done. When I see no more numbers, then I'll put stop. But I'll just do a little, just a little something, you know, there's just four little signatures here. Make, you can use it for a little idea book. Make a little, put a rubber band in some uh, chipboard. <laughs> I'm just waiting until I see no more numbers. And I hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, I'll show you all what we did again here in just a second. Alright, it's not moving, so I'm going to type in stop. Okay, the number was 11. And I think CB got 8. I don't think any had, nobody had 9, 10, or 11. So CB had 8. So I think CB, CB, you got it. So I'll send you a little book. I'll draw a little feather on there for you, CB. All right, so let me just kind of review what we did today. This. We did some, you know, tracing and, and using the shapes of a figure to get practice your proportions. Uh, color on black paper. We did a little inking and a little cut out there. Here is um, oh showing you how to use another an overlay over another torn piece of collage to make something else. This had nothing to do with today, but it was in the book. <laughs> uh, here's where we did some lettering and some ribbons and some little vines. There's a boot that uh, will be shoes will be communicating to each other. A little fairy in a bottle. A quick ink sketch. Nothing on the back of that one because it was wet. Same for this one. This one, this red is still wet. Or maybe it's just, yeah, it's a little bit wet right there. So with that. Bunch of model faces for future facial reference. There's our start where we did the 856 inspiration idea. Here's a uh, blue moon. <laughs> uh, water down. Um, oh, the wa have a waterfall coming down cement stairs. Here's another taking some a little tree. 
inspiration, black, white, and purple, polka dot, more tree. So anyway, guys, that's it. That's what we covered in about uh, two and a half hours. <laughs> I hope y'all enjoyed it. I hope y'all got some ideas and inspiration, wrote down some ideas, and we'll try some of them. Just take a magazine and go page by page and pick out something that inspires you on every page and put it in a sketchbook, a journal, even a three-ring notebook, composition book. Composition book would be great for this kind of thing. A good morning's work, yeah. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll hit record it, and so uh, we will uh, see you later, guys. Thanks for being here. Bye.